The way I look at arm wrestling is it's really high speed trading. You got all these angles in the body that you're really quickly trading to gain superiority. You're gonna come to the table, elbows on the pad. In the center of the table, you're gonna take your grips. Referee's gonna say go. And the first person to pin their opponent, that's a champ. Go. The two main styles of arm wrestling are outside styles where you're trying to bend the person's wrist back and inside styles where you're trying to pin the opponent's arm. So much of the outside techniques is this angle right here, right? When you start the match, you want to drive your knuckles up. As soon as you have the opponent's tension on your hand, as soon as you can feel their fingers, right, you're using your bicep and then you add your hand. And while you bend your wrist, you're protecting your own pronation. So you are resisting their want to cup you in at the same time. So you drive up, cup your hand down, and resist them turning you in. And it looks like this. And that's called a top roll. And a hook technique is a little bit different. A hook technique is you're pulling the person down and bringing your shoulder forward like this. And once you have them curled in, then you have the ability to use so many of the muscles in your body to you know, control them any direction you like. Being big and strong certainly helps. Like all things in life, doing your homework is probably the number one key to success. I always say that anybody who dedicates like four years to the sport will beat any other human being. Yeah, no matter their size basically. You could beat basically anybody if you commit four years of practice.